So I just happen to have an old bed frame laying around. It's going to work out uh, just right for the amount of angle iron that we need. So we got the length of the frame. Made it uh, 26 inches wide. Got a couple of angle brackets. These are going to hang off of the uh, side of the bed. And then down here is going to be the uh, pivot point for where it folds up. I put this uh, standoff here just to uh, move the pivot point more towards the outside so you have some room when you uh, fold it up so it doesn't hit the bedside and it you know uh, folds up a little bit straighter. Well what started off as a good idea reusing all this uh, scrap angle iron just turned into a major hassle. <laughs> I don't know what kind of kryptonite they made this uh, bed frame out of but man I barely have a drill but that'll make it through it. So there's the angle bracket hooked onto the frame. That'll be when it's in the down position and then when it folds up. So here's the basic layout. The bed actually stays above the uh, the one wheel well there and then it folds up almost vertical so you've got the uh, the entire bed here still to load something in there. You know, like a quad or whatever, but you've got all the space in between the wheel wells. Just got that uh, mocked up in there temporarily. Sits just above the wheel well. And it just folds down like that. We'll make the support legs uh, fold out, and then it'll support support it out there, nice and level. I got the uh, fold out feet here. They're about uh, 10 inches or so long. Cut a little angle on it, so when it folds down, it kicks out and is, uh, lays flat on the floor. Got all the brackets. Uh, burned together. So there it is now uh, mocked up with most of the frame. Uh, those legs go down uh, just to this side of the uh, center of the truck so heck you could put uh, two of these in there if you really wanted to. Cut up a piece of plywood to size. Just happen to have some foam laying around. So we just uh, bolted the uh, plywood to the uh, frame, some wood screws. I had to add these little uh, kickstands here to the back side. So when this is hanging in the truck, uh, this keeps it from wanting to swing over against the side of the bed. If I'd have known I was going to need that, we could have just made this all one solid piece of angle rather than you know two pieces, but that's what welders are for. So I ended up just uh, drilling a couple of holes right under this top uh, rail that runs along the bed. Now, I also might look into uh, coming up with some type of a clamp-on design or something that has kind of like a C that goes and grabs onto the top of the bed, uh, bed rail side there. On this truck I really didn't care, there was already you know various holes drilled into there. so. You can pretty much uh, customize that to any different attachment method you want. I think that ought to work out pretty good. So I'm trying to find a way to put some pads on the uh, bottoms of these angles that are rubbing up against the truck and sitting on the floor. I'm going to take a piece of fuel line and uh, form it onto the edge of these uh, angles. So I split it down the center, put a notch on one side. So there it is, all completed. Just threw an old sheet over the uh, foam. I need to get a longer eye bolt there. 
that one's not quite enough so I've got that little bracket up there but I would normally just drill a hole right into the back side of the angle there and anchor it that way.